He had a beautiful family. And what did he choose to do? <laughs> he decided to trade his family for some stranger, some girl. He knew nothing about. Now he has confirmed that beauty is not enough for marriage. Oh, I don't want to be in this mood. You're welcome. Thank you. What do I offer you? Well, I don't want to drink, but I actually need food. <laughs> You'll get it. I'll be with you shortly. Thank you. You're welcome. Honestly, if I lick us on a gun night to walk. Mama, you need to calm down. He's a broken man already. You need to save all of this energy. No, I don't even understand why you are you are bothered about him. Why he is bent on destroying your happiness. Why is he coming after you? Where is his beautiful wife? He should stay away from you. He's even lucky he didn't come to this place. I would have beat him with hot water. I'm here because he needs help. So I want to see how we can help him. We help him. Did we not beg him? Did I not travel all the way to the city to talk to him? He told me to my face that he's no longer interested in my daughter. When I told him to stop pushing away his daughters, he said I should stay away, I should stay clear, I should leave him alone. Right now, I want him to leave me alone. They are his daughters. If he wants to see them, then he should be allowed. They are his daughters. They are also my granddaughters. And they've moved on without a father. They are doing well. You are also doing well with an excellent husband God finally gave to you. So he should stay clear. He should stay away from us. I understand you're angry. My husband said you would react the way you're reacting now. Hopefully, soon, you change your mind. Njukwan. Eh? No, I will change my mind. Change your mind and allow him to see his daughters. This is a huge match for all these superstars and they're all gunning for <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. You crossed your leg on my lap just to let me know that you painted your nails and they're beautiful, right? Hey, stop intimidating me, please. Why are you not enjoying that, Mike? No, no, no. You're intimidating me. You're feeling some sensation for me. You're intimidating me. Excuse me. My phone is ringing. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Who is this? Jukwana, why are you doing this? Why? I am married. I need you to understand that and stop calling me. You're where? What is it? 
my ex-husband. He says he's outside. We can work this out. I beg you. I've come to plead with you, Dr. Maxwell. Please help me. Talk to Vanessa. All right? I, I, I know that I was wrong, but I lost her when, when it mattered the most. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but the truth is I cannot continue to live without her. I, I'm still in love with her. With due respect, Mr. Ogon, now. You don't go on telling her that. She's married right now, and uh, as we speak, she's with a child. Listen, are you pregnant? Look, I'm lost without you. I'm broken without you. Please, forgive me. I'm begging you, please. But it was you who told me that you didn't want me anymore. You served me divorce papers. And then you, you look at me and you said, I am no longer attracted to you. You equally added that you didn't want to have anything to do with my children. You said all that. Did all that. Now look at you. Why are you here? Stop it. I'm here. Stop coming. I'm... Stop coming. Stop calling me. Please. Please. I'm here because life is hard without you. Buddy, please forgive me. She forgave me a long time ago. Yes. She told me everything about her, but she will leave before we got married. But I need you to stop calling her and be telling her all those things to tell her. I don't understand what you're saying, but she's my wife. She used to be your wife. Remember, you divorced her. <laughs> she begged you for months for you to change your mind. But you stood your ground. And now, we're happily married. Yes. But I'd like to tell you a story, if you don't mind. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Well, um, you look so worried. And from the look on your face, it's like you're being through a lot. I'm fine. Sorry I rammed into you. Well, uh, I'm a doctor. Can we talk, please? After you. That's my story. <sighs> well, uh, that is the reason I insisted we talk. Because I knew something was wrong. And if you were not well guided, you'd have hurt yourself. Well, it's a good thing you insisted. I feel better now. Before you leave, I need you to understand that. Everyone has stories, but the way you manage it makes the difference. What's your story? <sighs> Five years ago, I lost my wife in a ghastly motor accident on our anniversary. And I've been the one taking care of our 10 years old son. I was devastated. But I've learned to live with the pain. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Thank you. Sorry to hear that. 
May her soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. Well, um, I need you to put yourself together. Yeah, because it's one of those things in life. I built my whole life around him. And then suddenly my children and I lost him to some woman. It's very painful. Time has come for you to understand that you don't trust humans. And he has shown you a reason to have your faith in God. And if not for anything, for your children, and you have to decide to leave. Please sit down. I need you to take things easy. As I speak right now, you are at the risk of having stroke because you're running on high PP. I, I would recommend maximum bed rest for you and less thinking, please. I'll try. I know how you feel. And uh, 16 years of marriage is not a joke. To tell you the truth, your daughters need you to be strong. You need to be strong for yourself. I'll do my best. Well, uh, are you on any BP medication? Well, my friend who is a medical doctor already prescribed one for me. <laughs> well, I haven't taken them for some days now. As it is, it's obvious God brought us together for a reason. And um, in mm -hmm. times as this, we need each other. I met a broken lady in the process of doing my job as a doctor. And in the long run, we fell in love with each other and were happily married. So I needed to quit coming around to embarrass my wife. Because when next you try this, I might act differently. About the pretty face, all the sexy looks, there are more to consider in marriage. So, before you tighten knot and say I do, just make sure you walk into the right direction. My brother, don't be carried away by beauty and pleasure. A lot is in place to do. Are you feeling me now? Oh, I because beauty is not enough in marriage, you have a lot to consider. What exactly do you want to tell me? Um, she's beautiful, quite all right. And she's my sister because we are from the same town. But uh, I feel you should not... Um, uh, Ebuka. I don't want to hear it. Huh? Talk it. Sir, are you sure you don't want to hear it? <sighs> Actually, I've not even said what I'm about to say. What else do you want to say? Not something damaging about her reputation. Ebuka, I understand the antics of village people and I wouldn't let you into that space. I love the woman and that's all that matters. As you might have noticed, she's carrying my child. Huh? Oh, yes. What? Wait, you mean you've been going down without, without protection? Oh, sir, this is not good at all. This is not good at all. Um, Ebuka. I don't know what you want to say, but I'll have you know that you're crossing the line. Huh? That is my woman. Okay? She's carrying my child, and I am going to proceed to pay her bright price. Because I've been informed by her people that I stand a chance of losing the land that I purchased from them if I do not go ahead to do right by their daughter that I got pregnant. Hmm? Sir, if this is 
has a history, a good man like you should know. Hey, Buka, I am not interested in having a download of our history with other men. I don't need it. Focus. Keep your eye on my project. That is your business. My woman is not your business. Huh? Do your job and give me reports. Okay, sir. Because beauty is not enough in marriage. You have a lot to consider. If I go do something where you go regret forever. Ah. Because beauty is not enough for marriage. Oh, I. Wah, wah, wah. No go do something where you go regret forever. Yeah. Tears running down my eyes. I could avoid it, but I'm sorry. Sorry, I brought you out under the sun. So I, I need help. I, I, and I've been looking for you. Why have you not been available? I'm calling your phone, you're not picking. What is your problem? I didn't see the call, sir. You did not see the call, but you saw today's call. Sorry, sir. I'm your man, oh. I'm your man. Have you forgotten yesterday? I I, 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 I remember. I know you are my man, sir. And you are my boss. I took care of you. Now it's your turn to take care of me. Okay. Now I'm going to phone in name like this. What is your problem? Okay. Sorry, sir. Uh, I'm listening. <clears throat> but look. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. You know the data you were talking about this girl, you were telling me that um, she has a man who is sick. As a matter of fact, that you said something that like that the father of her two sons <laughs> that, that he has this illness. So is it is it true? That was what I'm trying to tell you before you insisted. That I should shut up. So, 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 who am I to keep talking when the boss have instructed me to shut up? So I have to shut up now. Hi, this girl has finished me. Well, this girl has read me. <laughs> hey, Buka, why did you not tell me? Well, you should have told me. <laughs> eh? You're supposed to tell me. That's why you're my boy. Even my man, you tell me. Hi. Well, the man did not actually get married to her because his father refused her getting married into the family. Hi. You know, we know mm. she had this disease all this while. And you did not tell me. Hi. And you did not tell me. Hey, Buka, you said you tried to tell me. I did not let you talk. You should have shouted it. <laughs> you should have shouted it. Oh, God, this girl will kill you. You did not tell me. If I told you, you wouldn't have listened. I would have listened. Uh, you were blinded by her beauty. Why would I not listen to you? You are my person. Eh? Huh? No, see the mess that I have gotten myself into. Yes, I was blinded by her, by her beauty. She's a fine girl. Even, even if you if you tell yourself the truth, you see that she's a fine girl. But right now, I'm not fine. I am not fine. This girl has destroyed me. That beauty that I saw has destroyed me. What am I going to do? I tried my best. But you did not listen. You didn't even let me talk. So I have to close my mouth. The boss asked me to shut up, so I have to shut up. Hi. Hey, Buka. Hey, Buka. Look, I know that you're a young guy about town. I know that you know people. Biko. Eh? I don't like what the doctors are telling me. I said, I got a on Bolamo. This is not right. That they're going to cut off my, 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 my testicles. At this young age, I'm a, I'm, I'm a young boy. Sure. Biko, Biko. I don't know if you know friends you can talk to. Is there or maybe when you keep what this thing traditionally? Like where, 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 where they can cure this thing traditionally, please. Ah, me. Uh, I want to be me before. I don't know. So I don't know, I don't know where you can you can you can cure yourself. Hey! I don't know. Hey! Same I should shut up. I shut up now. My boss have given the instruction. Sorry. Hi! I'm going to sorry. Sorry, I, I can't help you this time. Uh, this girl has finished me. This girl has finished me. What am I going to do? Are they going to cut my balls off? Uh, Our Japanese is weak. No, eh? tell, no, no, just cut it. No, no, please. I cannot live without my testicles. Now because you tighten knots and say I do, just make sure you walk into the right direction, my brother. Don't be carried away by beauty and pleasure. A lot is in place to do. Are you feeling me now? Oh, I. Because beauty is not enough in marriage. You have.
have a lot to consider. No go do something where you go regret forever. Ah, because beauty is not enough for marriage. Oh, I, wah, wah, wah. No go do something where you go regret forever. Yeah, tears running down my eyes. I could avoid it, but I'm carried away by beauty and pleasure. And now, look what I've done to myself. Oh, I, I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I will bring you back. I lost a diamond chasing stones. I learned my lesson, but it's too late. Oh, because beauty is not enough in marriage. You have a lot to consider. You're going to do something where you go regret forever. Ah, because beauty is not enough for marriage. About the pretty face or the sexy looks, there are more to consider in marriage. So, before you tighten knots and say I do, just make sure you walk into the right direction, my brother.